I usually drive these cars before I road test them, but since I was driving an automatic Miata, I wanted to be really objective and like take it for what it is and not think about the manual transmission. Get it out of my head that the manual transmission is why a sports car is a sports car and that the manual transmission is the greatest transmission on earth and that no form of PDK or DCT or DSG or S-Tronic or any of those transmissions can replace the manual transmission or the fact that the 911 R's are selling for double the price because Porsche made a manual transmission with a normally aspirated engine and people are going goo goo over those things and paying 500K for them when they sold for 250,000. I'm trying to forget all that shit, man. And go into this thing completely subjective and drive an automatic Miata and figure out if it's any good. So the NA and NB, the first and second generation Miatas, like they basically sold no automatics. 10% I think was the rate at which they sold automatics. Then the NC came along, people got a little lazier, traffic gets worse and worse every year, and I think 30 or 40% of those sold in an automatic. Now I don't know what the percentage is with this fourth gen car, um, but I bet you it's a lot. It's probably half of them. And this is a regular old six speed slush box, like from like 1999, no dual clutch, no fancy anything. Uh, have it in sport mode right now, which doesn't seem to do anything to make the shifts any faster. Uh, I'm not really sure why they didn't develop something that's like a little bit quicker. Again, this is the first time I'm driving it, but just based on the 10 or 15 shifts so far while I'm talking smack over here, it just feels like an automatic, man. Yeah, it's one of those things where you hit the paddle and you have to wait a second. And when you're so used to driving all these dual clutch cars, it like seems like it's taking forever. Maybe 15 years ago, I would have been impressed with this transmission. But now, it's really bad, actually. I love, let, let's get this out of the way. I love everything about the ND. I think it's the best looking Miata. Uh, I think it's the first Miata that looks as good as an S2000, if not better. I do like the two liter Skyactiv engine. I love the interior, it's well laid out. The build quality is top notch. I love the seats. Love the top operation, man. It's got the slickest top. Like you can put it up and down in like five seconds with very little effort. This is the best convertible top ever. But this transmission literally ruins this car. It destroys it. I understand, look, if you got some sort of thing, health problem, knee problem, you played too much football as a kid, uh, you live in LA, New York, whatever, there's a lot of traffic, and you've gotta have a Roadster, and you've gotta have an automatic, but there are certainly much better options than this for 25 or 30 grand like a GTI with a proper automatic transmission if you have to have an automatic transmission. And I know a lot of people are gonna go, oh, you're such a dick for always, like blah, blah, blah with a manual. I love a manual transmission, I'm sorry. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. Like, if you look at an ad for an M3 or an S4 or a Miata or whatever other car you're looking at, as soon as you see automatic transmission in the ad, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Move on to the next ad. And I think a lot of us do that, especially with a Miata. I once had the opportunity to drive an NA Miata first gen car with an automatic transmission, and that might have been the worst driving experience I've ever had. Uh, that's an old four speed. Even the six speed doesn't do too much. Let's do a little zero to 60 run here. Gosh, hates shifting into first gear. Wonder why. All right, let's launch this bad boy. First to second is harsh, lazy, terrible, slow AF. My wife doesn't like when I cuss on the channel, so I'll just say slow AF. There's all kinds of memes now, you guys know what it means. This thing is slow AF. And it really, this just went through a set of twisties right there. It ruins the entire experience, really, man. You gotta have an automatic car and you gotta have a Roadster. I really don't know what else is out there. I mean, you're gonna have to spend twice the money and go to a BMW Z4 that's got a proper transmission. You can get a dual clutch in that car or a ZF8 speed, which is God's gift to torque converters. I don't know what that buzzing was. You know, or a Mercedes or something, but like, there's no other cheap Roadster except for the Fiat. They're not even that cheap. And I'd imagine the Fiat with the automatic is probably better because it's turbocharged, might, um, 
might make a little bit better torque down low because of the boosted motor. The engine sounds really anemic with this transmission. 155 horsepower certainly doesn't make a good companion for a regular automatic transmission, even in sport mode. And I think this thing weighs 2,300 pounds and change. I don't know if the automatic is heavier. Very well could be heavier than the manual. They usually are. So it might be closer to 2,400 pounds. Definitely not enough power to spin a tire or have a good shift or a good experience. It changes the whole character of the car, man. It really does. If you need an automatic, shop elsewhere, man. Don't come here.